stuff to make pasta and rice. Aga started working at this pantry in Edinburgh a few months ago. It helps pay her rising energy bills and gives her access to affordable, healthy food at a time when prices remain sky high. It's quite depressing and it can make you worry. And um, Of course, sometimes if I have to, I use overdraft or, yeah, uh, I'm trying not to use credit card, but it's there if I have to. But, yeah, I think lots of people can say the same. The growing cost of living is being fuelled by stubbornly high inflation rates, pushing more people into poverty. We've got over 350 people who are members of this pantry just here, and this is just one small part of the picture in this community that's facing the crunch worst of all. People who are already in poverty are the ones who are struggling most. There's no longer realistically ways of affording the basics to stay alive, which is housing, energy and food. The Bank of England say the best tool it has to control and bring down inflation is to increase interest rates, making it more expensive for people to borrow money and encouraging them instead to rein in their spending and save. With the bank rate increasing to 4.5% today, it marks the 12th consecutive rise. And this is all after more than a decade of historically low interest rates, meaning more people have got used to getting cheap credit. Low and stable inflation is the foundation of a healthy economy and we have to stay the course to make sure inflation falls all the way back to the 2% target. Mortgage payments will rise for those not on a fixed rate, but brokers say the market is still moving with deals to be found. It's definitely settled since October when we had the mini budget and things went very crazy at the time, but it is starting to settle now. So um, it's given people more confidence in their purchases moving forward. So um, I would say to anybody who is unsure of what rate that they're on, definitely seek advice. The changes will affect anyone with savings too. Although bank rates, base rates were four and a quarter percent till this morning, four and a half percent now, there's lots of savings accounts, lots of instant access and particular savings accounts that are paying around about one percent and that's just because the banks get away with it. No, nobody's pressurising the banks enough to say if you're going to increase borrowers' rates you need, you need to increase the rates that you're paying savers. I'm not convinced that, that, that all the current rises we're seeing in interest will actually, in interest rates will deal with the problem because a lot of the problem is supply side led. Although many of the woeful economic Economic predictions made last year have not come to pass. The effect of changing interest rates can take around 18 months to sink in, meaning many will need to tighten their belts further if there's even room left to do so. Laura Alderman, STV News, Edinburgh.